So we talk about diet and our heart health uh, quite a bit. Explain the role that emotional and mental health play in our cardiovascular health. Why'd you bring that up? Okay, <laughs> we had a conversation yesterday. And I was a little stressed out, so I'm laughing at myself. I'm uh, uh, imperfect at uh, uh, managing stress. It's not easy. So I yeah. try hard, you know, and we're all subject to it. And um, you know, for 50 plus years since the word stress was coined by a researcher, I believe at Harvard University. Uh, as a physiologic process that triggers cortisol, triggers adrenaline, changes your blood sugar, changes your blood cortisol, may change your white cell count. I mean, physiologic consequences of real stress, perceived stress, emotional stress, physical stress. Um, it's been the center of a lot of work that, um, you know, life is life and there will be stress, but it's more, you know, the, the way we respond. I like the analogy, you can be a thermometer up and down all the time or you can try and be a thermostat and try and control it. How do you do that? You do that maybe with breathing techniques, maybe with good night's sleep, maybe with proper nutrition, maybe with fitness, maybe with faith and prayer. These are all things. Maybe with a meditative practice, maybe with an app-based breathing practice. But we all need a technique um, from something as simple as something called the 478 breathing uh, technique that Andrew Weil has taught that takes about a minute and a half. Um, but nonetheless, we need a technique to deal with stress because ultimately, uh, if sleep is bad and stress is high, the apple or the donut, the apple's probably gonna not be the winner of that decision. You know, the gym bag or hit the snooze button and stay in bed, probably the gym bag's not gonna be the winner when you're stressed out and tired and such. We just make bad decisions and uh, treat ourselves to that next cigarette or that next uh, martini that maybe prudence would be that we should have avoided. So, um, you know, the pioneer in cardiovascular medicine that has made stress central conversation would again be Dr. Dean Ornish, uh, where his program wasn't called plant-based heart disease reversal. It was called the Lifestyle Heart Trial. Plant-based diet, yoga, meditation, social support, and exercise. Uh, but if you were to speak to him about it, he'd say probably the social support, the connection, the uh, stress management part may have been the most profound part of keeping people in the game and motivated and hopeful. And, uh, you know, people don't know, care how much you know till they know how much you care kind of thing in clinical practice. So I spend a lot of time with patients on techniques to identify and deal with stress. Herbal supplements can be helpful, CBD. Um, I now have a, a CBD square or patch transdermal that people are reporting. I mean, they're crutches, they're tools. They don't make a bad marriage better. They don't make you know, a, a difficult time with your boss you know, better in terms of the actual situation, but they just might keep you more of a thermostat without obviously going towards opioids and you know, narcotic addiction or alcohol addiction consequences. Right.